Welcome everyone in this new video. Today we will be benchmarking DCS World and in particular the multi-threaded version of DCS World with the non-multi-threaded version. We'll have a comparison, direct comparison side by side in real time. On the screen, top left corners of the two windows you will see some information about my computer, some specifications, as well as the current FPS that is the real time FPS counter. Then below that there's the minimum FPS until now, the average FPS until now and the 1% low FPS until now. If you would like to have a look at this track file, then please feel free to download it from the description. I have left it there. Finally, I'd like to say that this benchmark is based off of the Syria map. I'll be flying up high as well as down low fast uh, through the Beirut city as well as uh, slow down low in the city and you will be able to see in real time what the FPS uh, and how the FPS compares between the multi-threaded version and the non-multi-threaded version. Alright guys, 
So, in conclusion, I think that the difference between the multi-threaded version and the non-multi-threaded version, at least in my case, uh, comes down to a difference in FPS uh, that is uh, ranging between 3 and 11-12 FPS. In this case, in particular, because I want to bear in mind that I was uh, the only object on the map and um, I think that the multi-threaded version would excel in improving the performance, especially in the scenarios where there's a lot of objects on the map laying around. But to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. So that might be something that you have to test yourself. And uh, in regards to VR, I haven't tested it yet, but uh, I think I'll see for myself. I don't think I will make a video out of it, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the benchmark and it helped you understand uh, uh, what the what performance boost we're looking at uh, for the moment being. Of course you should uh, keep in mind that this is an open beta, it's the first version with multi-threading, so I think we'll see some improvements down the line as well 